In this video, we are going to see how we can update the firmware of our HackRF1 device. So let's just first see the firmware which is currently available on our HackRF1 device. So make sure your HackRF1 device is connected with your Dragon OS machine. And let's just do HackRF underscore info. So it will give you the firmware version which is 2018.01.1 uh, right and over here this is a part id number and this version is a old uh, firmware version as you can see there uh, there is a new release version of hackrf1 firmware so let's just download this firmware and update so let me download the zip file and you will get this uh, link in the resources file so you can use the same link to download the firmware. And the reason for downloading the new firmware and updating the new firmware is that when we will use some tools, uh, the new tools, uh, we have to make sure those tools are completely uh, supported by HackRF1. So we have to make sure that our firmware uh, is always up to date. So you can update the firmware with the same method uh, in, in the future as well. So this is the same method you can use for the other versions of firmware which you will see in the future. So it's downloaded. Let me go into the downloads folder and let's just extract it here. And let's just clear our screen and we will go into the same folder. and hackrf 2021 and let's just clear out and let's just do cd firmware under uh, hyphen bin so in this folder we have to update sp flash file so we have to write a command hackrf underscore spi flash with W option to write and we will select hackrf underscore one dot USB dot bin file. So this is the file which you have to use to flash the SPI flash. Let's just hit enter. So it will erase the old SPI file and it will write the new file. Let's just do CD one directory up and let's just run the command from here so let's just do hackrf cpld jtag and this command is used to update uh, the default file so we can update the default file with x option and let's just go into the folder firmware cpld and spgio sgpio sorry uh, underscore if folder and over here there is a default dot xsvf file so let's just select which is default dot xsvf file you have to remember this name otherwise you will get all these commands in your resources files as well so you can use those commands directly so let's just hit enter so over here you can see if LED 1, 2 and 3 is blinking, that means L, uh, CPLD program is success and your firmware is updated successfully. Otherwise, if your LED 3, which is a red LED, uh, is blinking, that means there is some error and you have to read out that error. So currently LED 1, 2 and 3 is blinking. That means uh, the firmware is updated successfully. Let's just check the firmware as well. So for that you have to unplug your HackRF1 device and uh, plug it again. So you have to do it manually. Let me do it. And again make sure your device is connected with your Dragon OS uh, system. And let's just run HackRF underscore info. So you can see HackRF1 firmware is updated to 2021.03.1 
this is a new firmware. So this is how you can update firmware of your HackRF1 device.